Getting to Elite Four in Arena gives you so many rewards. However, the one that sticks out the most is those 360 shards of the character of the current season. But is it easy to get there? Well, that's really up to how long you're willing to play for. I assume most of you don't want to sit around fighting for hours just to get some shards, so I decided to come up with a couple of tips that can help you guys out. Um, these tips came basically from experience for me playing the game. So the first tip is to look at the leaderboards. The leaderboards basically tell you where you have to be at every day in terms of arena points. The way I do it for Division Elite 4 is I scroll all the way down to whoever is at rank 200. I look at how many points they have, then take some off. Because in order to get to Elite 4, all you have to do is be around, around rank 250. So if rank 200 has 8.5 million points, just as an example, I'll take off around 500,000 points, and that'll be my goal. Keep in mind that you normally want to place rank 200 just to be safe, but rank 250 is the bare minimum. For the next tip, let's look at how many teams I use. I burn through about 7 teams in Arena if I'm trying to get to Elite 4, but you don't have to. I do this just in case I can't play one day or I don't feel like it. Um, also, my teams have a low threat, which means I get low rewards compared to higher threat teams. The reason why my teams have a, have a lower threat is because I prefer to have higher attack teams for raids. But the game gives you more threat if you have a higher uh, health if you have higher health teams. However, because my teams overkill in arena, that means if I wanted to get higher arena points, all I'd have to do is reduce their attack by a little bit and add more health. This way I keep my damage, but I also get to keep oh sorry. This way I get to keep my damage, but I also get to get a higher threat. This also means that if I that if I did it this way, I get to play less since I'm getting more more points per fight, which saves time. Uh, one final tip is to use more characters than just the ones that are good on raids. An example is Atlantean Armored Aquaman. He does so many things, like armor piercing, heal, power drain, and dot damage. Although he isn't good on raids, he is a beast in arena. Using different players can also keep the game more interesting since you aren't always using the same characters all the time. Um, I don't know if you guys haven't noticed, but if you go like on YouTube, everyone who uses raids teams, like they're all the same. They're all the like Silver Banshee, Aquaman, or King of Atlantis Aquaman, um, the Last Life Joker. Everyone uses the same characters. Arena is really a place where you get to kind of diversify your team and have a little bit more fun. Uh, that's the way I treat it. And also, since you're grinding more in Arena, you want to have as much fun there because it's going to it's gonna be the game mode that takes you the longest. Um, that's just a couple of tricks. There are certain tricks you'll learn around when fighting certain teams. Um, I can't explain all of them because there's just so many teams, like the Multiverse team, the Batman Ninja team. Um, so, yeah, you, you will just have to, like, according to whatever characters you use, you're just going to have to find your way around it. And that's kind of the fun of the game because it's kind of like a chess match trying to find the best moves. Uh, but anyways, I hope this helped you guys out and I hope you have a good day.